in this set of circumstances, as we already mentioned, you have the, the issues associated with extended conflict within the country, which I already mentioned. Those will be the farm inputs, the, the lack of irrigation, damaged equipment, uh, abandoned land. But at the same time, you have the drought that came in kind of on the top of all these uh, issues further compounding the problem. So uh, there are parts of countries that are doing quite well. It would have helped if we had a map. There is a part of country which is uh, going quite strong and the prospects are quite good on the eastern part uh, of Syria. Uh, but then there is a part which is affected uh, by the drought conditions. And there will be some harvest, but it will not be as big as it would have been expected otherwise. So we are expecting that the, the wheat harvest in the country as a total will be around 2 million tons and the uh, barley harvest will be in the proximity of 350,000 tons, which, to put into perspective, it's about 50% uh, less than has been the average for the last 10 years, which is a significant decrease. The FAO has been uh, supporting livelihoods and building resilience on the ground. In the past, for example, in the 2013-2014 campaign, it uh, distributed seeds, wheat and barley seeds, to almost 29,000 families to improve the production prospects. As you know, one of the, 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 or the many impacts of the this extended conflict in Syria has resulted in the high cost of inputs and lack of uh, available inputs in the markets, uh, damaged farm equipment, uh, damaged irrigation channel and channels, and uh, so on and so forth. So this is what has been happening in 2013-14. Uh, we are now preparing for the next campaign. There is not much we can do in the current campaign, given the conditions with the the drought conditions on the ground. But for the next campaign, 2014-2015, we are preparing to extend our support and to target 50,000 families with uh, farm inputs. Uh, eventually, the plan is that these families become self-sufficient and they have a small surplus they can sell on the market. There are also other initiatives that supporting uh, livestock feed and uh, veterinary services to support uh, small backyard poultry production to increase the, the protein production that is actually consumed within the household and also to increase vegetable production. We already talked about what is what we are planning to do for the agriculture sector in general. That would be the distribution of the seeds, that would be the, the livestock feed and so on and so forth. What is uh, and this is affecting the agriculture household, the household that make living out of agricultural production. Would it be that they make living out of it to sell on the market or would it be for their own consumption? to satisfy their own food needs. Uh, what we also see in the country is that the food security situation has been deteriorating. Now we have more than six and a half million people that are internally displaced, that left their homes. Now they really don't have any income generating opportunities. The unemployment is high. The inflation rate is increasing. Now sure, there has been a slight ease of the inflation rate, but it still remains at the levels which are quite high compared to where we started. Uh, this, uh, the currency depreciated and all these uh, factors impact the inflation uh, in the country. So what we can expect is the, the uh, is higher food price inflation. We can expect that Syria which is normally importing a large amount of its food, will have to import even more this year uh, to satisfy its uh, domestic needs.